Hello and welcome to the WebMonkey Show. My name is Alex and today I am going to introduce you to an amazing, fantastic WordPress plugin for building contact forms. Now, speaking of plugins, as of today, August 20th, 2018, we have over 56,000 WordPress plugins to choose from. Now, the good thing about this is obviously the fact that you've got lots of variety. The downside is that you do tend to have some really good plugins that go unnoticed because there's just so much variety out there. Now, speaking of contact form plugins specifically, we all know the usual suspects, right? You've got contact form seven by Takoyuki Miyoshi. This plugin as of today already has over 5 million installations. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Now, contact form seven is a pretty decent WordPress plugin for building forms, but if you've ever used it before, it doesn't have an intuitive page builder. It's kind of difficult creating forms with it. And then you've got other plugins like the Ninja Forms plugin, which has a page builder, but you have to pay for it. And then, of course, you also have Gravity Forms, which, well, it's great. It's a great plugin for creating contact forms. Unfortunately, well, <laughs> it costs $59 just to use this plugin. Now, I am very happy to inform you that I have discovered a plugin for building contact forms that is extremely easy to use. And best of all, it's absolutely free. Introducing Contact Forms, well, Happy Forms actually, by Theme Foundry. Now, to be honest with you, the devs of this plugin actually contact me, contacted me a few weeks ago and they said, hey Alex, you know, we have this really awesome plugin for building contact forms, would you like to give it a try? And to be honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical at first because I get lots of emails like this regularly from different people saying, hey, you know, we've created this new plugin that will bring about world peace or we have this new plugin that will cure cancer or, <laughs> you know, they make all these crazy promises and I'll end up reviewing the plugin and at best the plugin would be meh, it will be okay, it will be average, nothing spectacular. However, I am pleased to inform you that this plugin, this Happy Forms plugin by Theme Foundry is an exception. It is an exception because it's a really, really good plugin, and it just might be my new favorite plugin for building contact forms. But enough talk, let me show you how to, you can actually build forms with this plugin. Now, I have already installed and activated the plugin on my site, uh, ufablogger.com, my sample website for experiments. And now over here, you will see I do have the happy forms icon right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on all forms to begin with. And by default, we do have the sample contact form. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link. And you can see by default, we do have the usuals. We have the first name, last name. We have the checkbox right here asking why the customer is contacting us. We have a drop down box. And of course, we also have our message box as well, all right? So this is your default form. However, I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new form. So let's click on add new. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and say contact form, all right? Now over here to the right, we do have the fields which we can use to build our contact form. But take a look at this, down here it says set up step one of three. So it takes you three simple steps from publishing or rather from creating your form to publishing it. So step one, is to build out the form using the page builder, all right? So over here we have the short text, we've got long text, email, multiple choice, you have all the usual fields you would expect. However, take a look at this. They even have the address field, they have a scale field for collecting opinions, they even have a legal field for requiring fine print before accepting submission. So this is excellent if you own a law firm or your lawyer and you require people to accept certain terms and conditions before they can contact you, you can use this field. It's freaking amazing. You also have the rating field as well. You have your placeholder field. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's just go ahead right now and build our form. So first things first, let's add a short text for the first name. First name. And you have the usual options of choosing the title placement, left below inside impute, or you can display it as a simple placeholder. And then down here, we do have the, this is required checkbox filled automatically. I'm gonna click on advanced and I'm gonna change the width from full to half. 
You can even add your custom CSS class as well if you wanted to. Let's click on done. So we've got the short text, first name. But what I'm going to do here is to actually just duplicate this field. Let's just do that. Let's just click on duplicate. And then first name, I'm going to change this now to last name. Because everyone has a first name and everyone has a last name. All right, so last name. And that's cool as it is. I'm just going to go ahead and click on done. So we've got first name, we've got last name. Let's now add email. All right. What I'm going to do is to also change the width from full to half. All right. Let's click on done. Next would be the phone number. Let's add phone. You can also change the, uh, what's it, right, what's it right now? The, let me click on advanced uh, down here. All right. So over here, you can change the format. If you have guests or customers from all over the world, you can go with the international format if you wanted to. And of course, you can change the default uh, phone number region. We'll leave this as it is. We'll change the width from full to half. And then from here, I'm just going to scroll down and let's click on done. Okay, so next we're going to add the message field. So let's go ahead and add our long text. And I'm going to say, your message. What would you like to say to us? All right. We're going to leave this as it is. Let's click on done. And then finally, let's go ahead and add the waiting. Let's add the waiting field, all right? And in here, we're going to say, we're going to ask the question, how easy was it to use this form? All right. And there you go. We have on a scale of one to five. And we're not going to make this required. Actually, let's leave it required. Let's leave this required. <laughs> We'll leave it as it is, all right? So I'm going to go ahead right now and simply click on done, all right? And then that's it. So we have our form built out. Let's now click on setup next, which would be the second stage. And this is where we can begin to modify things like the confirmation, confirmation message, the message that the people will get once they filled out the form, things like that. So in here, by default, we do have the confirmation message that says, your message has been successfully sent. We appreciate you contacting us and we'll be in touch soon. So this is pretty standard as it is. You can change it to your own style if you wanted to. You can change, let's say, for example, in touch soon to, let's say, uh, shortly, you know, stuff like that. So now the email address, this is the email that the form will be sent to. So you can modify this one right here. You can also modify the email subject whenever you get a new contact form. And then you can also change the kind of messages that your customers will get once they filled out the form. So this is the email subject that they will receive. We've received your message. And then this is also the message that we'll get. It says, your message has been successfully sent. We appreciate you contacting us and we'll be in touch soon. Once again, you can change this one as well. You can also redirect users once they have submitted the form, which is just freaking amazing. You can redirect them to a certain page, like a thank you page for contacting us or something like that. So this is pretty awesome. This is another excellent feature of this plugin. And then finally, you have the submit button text as well, all right? And then you can also add things like your spam prevention. By default, we do have the spam prevention by Honeypot security. And you can also sign up for Google Recapture if you wanted to. You can check the box right here. But then you would have to click on Google Recapture and then sign up for the service if you wanted to. But I'm not going to use that. So I'll just uncheck this. And uh, there you go. That's it. Finally, let's click on style. And then on the general, you can change the form width from 100% to 50%, 65%, whatever your heart's desire. I'm going to leave this on 100%. And then you can also change the direction from left to right or right to left, although <laughs> this looks kind of weird. So I'll change this back to left to right. And then you can change the font weight from normal to bold. Uh, you can change the colors from black to blue or green or whatever suits your style. Let's go with red as an example. So you have contact form in red. And then you can change the values of the success from green to something else. You can change one from, error to, from red to something else, whatever you want. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. And voila, we have a contact form all built out. And how easy was that? So this is it right here. We do have the contact form. This is a short code. I'll copy that to clipboard. Let's go ahead right now and add a new page, a contact page. And you can either add the short code right here. You can simply click on add happy forms. 
you can choose the form. I'm going to choose the contact form. Insert that. Uh, default template, I'll just go with the full width. Let's publish the page. And let's take a look at what we have. So let's view the page. And voila, there you go. We have our contact form all filled out with the fields. And of course, the waiting field as well. So this is pretty cool. Let's give this a try. Okay, let's go ahead and try this plugin out. But before we do that, what I want to do is to test out the redirect link. All right, the redirect feature. So let's just go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to go ahead right now and pick a page. We're going to test this out. All right, let's go with the about page. All right, I'm going to view this page. All right, so I'm going to copy this link. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to test out the plugin, okay? Once we've filled out the form, we should be redirected to this particular page. So let's try this out, all right? I'm going to go back to the back end. Let's go to our happy forms, all forms. Let's edit the contact form. Let's go to the second step. Let's scroll all the way down here. So over here, I'm going to paste the link to the about page. So if this plugin works, once we filled out the form, we should be redirected to the about page. All right, let's go ahead right now and save a form. All right, cool. Let's go back to our pages. And let's go to the contact page. Let's view the page. All right, cool. Let's close the about page right here. So let's test this out. Okay, my name is Alex. And my last name is Jones, Alex Jones. Email is going to be onealex14 at gmail.com. Phone number is plus one, seven, seven, eight, nine, nine. Your message, and I'm going to say this is a test. This was easy to use. Now let's submit the form and let's see what happens. And there you go. We've been redirected to the about page. So, of course, normally in your own website, you would create maybe like a thank you page or something like that for people contacting you. And then you can offer them freebies as well. But the point here, here is that this plugin works and it is by far one of the best plugins I have discovered in a very, very long time. So do give Happy Forms a try today. You can see right now that they only have just about 2000 active installations. And uh, this is unfair, my humble opinion. I think this plugin deserves a lot more exposure because it's quite frankly one of the best plugins I've ever used for building a contact form. So there you have it, my review of the Happy Forms plugin by The Theme Foundry. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video in the future. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex and until next time, bye bye. Hey there, would you like to acquire skills in web development or cybersecurity? If so, then why not consider enrolling in the WebMonkey Academy today? Created by an experienced instructor, the WebMonkey Academy is an online platform dedicated to providing you with world-class courses. From HTML to CSS to WordPress and even cybersecurity, we got you covered. Learn in-demand skills and launch your career as a web developer or cybersecurity analyst. Start your free two-week trial today and get free access to more than 15 courses with over a thousand hours of content. Check the link below this video for more details.